wants to lower the income tax by imposing more taxes on the energy companies involved in fracking. And News 5's John Kosick is in the newsroom for us. And John, the governor has really been down this road many times before. Yeah, Frank, if the definition of insanity is to repeat the same action and expect a different result, Governor Kasich will be the first to tell you, call me crazy. If you're familiar with Charlie Brown's long battle with Lucy in the football, you can relate to Governor John Kasich in the legislature when it comes to passing a tax on fracking in Ohio. That's because it's something Kasich tried in 2015, 13, and 12, all ending in Charlie Brown fashion with the legislature pulling the proposal. We talked about it after he introduced the last budget. The biggest obstacle has been the Republican legislature. What makes you think that this year is going to be that year? Try, try, try again. The state passed a 2.5% severance tax in 2014, but it is still among the lowest in the nation. Kasich's proposal this year, 6.5%. His argument all along has been the same. Our value is being depleted every day they pull stuff out of the ground and leave. We're, we're less wealthy. I, I don't know why people don't understand they ought to pay for that. If they make us less wealthy, they ought to pay us for that. Kasich finds himself tilting at windmills in part because those behind oil and gas exploration have strong allies in the legislature, with the industry rising to become one of the state's largest campaign contributors. If an unlikely fact, when it fails this year, be sure Kasich, with Charlie Brown's spirit, will find another way in his remaining 23 months to try again. As he told me four years ago, he was prepared to do. I'm not giving up on this, and if we don't get it this year, then we'll fight next year, and if I don't get it the next year, I'll fight the next year, and at some point we'll get it. Legislature, legislature in the past agreeing with the oil and gas industry that raising taxes would stifle production and threaten jobs. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News 5.